He's probably America's most famous governor, one of the richest governors ever, and dare I say, most successful governor, the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Welcome to Fox and Friends, Governor. Right, Thanks thank for you. coming down. My pleasure. How's New York treating you so far? So far, terrific. We just had a great event with the Mayor Bloomberg, uh, where we uh, were interviewed on stage in front of 200 uh, very important and influ influential people right. in New York by Charlie Rose. And that went really well because, uh, you know, Bloomberg and I, we kind of are like soulmates and we... Uh, yeah, how is that? You're soulmates, you say, in politics, correct? Well, yes, because, uh, you know, we both are bottom line guys. We come from the business background and for us the important thing is to get things done. What is best for our people, the people that have elected us and sent us to do the job, rather than worrying and getting all tied up on is this a Republican idea or Democratic idea, and uh, you know it all creates just fights. Let's just go and and, and come together and uh, compromise on issues and get things done for the people. Doesn't matter if it's is healthcare reform, if it is uh, infrastructure, if it is protecting the environment, whatever the issues are. Let's get things done. Do you think there's a problem with the states looking too much for the federal government, or has the federal government turned their back on the states and you have no choice? Well, there's many uh, instances where the federal government has been very supportive to right. the state, to the state of California. And there's other things like, for instance, the environment, where I think they're asleep at the wheel and where they have not helped the agenda forward and uh, where they have not inspired Detroit for them to build new technology and right. to change the technology so we have less greenhouse gas emissions and all of those kind of things. So in some things they're good and in some things they're not. But here's the thing, Governor, a lot of people, a lot of Republicans in particular don't believe there is global warming, there is climate change, they don't believe the green technology. We talk to a lot of them on an everyday basis. You're a Republican, what do you know that they don't? Well, I think that they know the reality. I think they just try to protect business. And in the end, they're hurting business. Because we have proven in California that you can do both. Right. That you can protect the environment and protect business. Even though in 2003 when I ran, and I said that people didn't believe it, but then when we started building the hydrogen highway and passed the Green Building Initiative and the Million Solar Roof Initiative and the Ocean Action Plan and AB32 to make right. a commitment to roll back our greenhouse gas emissions and the low uh, carbon fuel standards, all of those things that got world recognition, I, I think people realize now, wait, this has not hurt our economy. This is actually a big plus because we are creating jobs through green, clean technology. Yeah, and you think it almost could be like the Internet when, it, when that <clears throat> bubble happened and, and really start being a green industry. But, Governor, it's an environmental revolution that is coming. I mean, that's the reality.